Welcome back to Prey Moon Crash. I'm going to go ahead and press escape to pause just so I don't lose more time to the corruption. So, I am starting a brand new run. Reset the simulation, and my end goal here with this episode is to unlock the story objective for Andreas by escaping with Andreas through the Mimic Portal. To do that, we have to play as at least three characters. Right now, I'm playing as Joanne Winslow. I'm going to run over to the Pythes Labs and repair the Mimic Portal, and then hopefully escape with, with Joanne. And then I have to play as Claire Witten, and I have to go hack the computer inside of the uh, Mimic Portal room, and also hopefully escape them, and then play as Andreas. So, I'm going to try to be as fast as possible, just make a beeline straight there. I'm, I'm going to do very little collecting of equipment or neuromods or anything like that. Kind of just going to run straight there and hope I survive. <laughs> if I don't, then maybe I'll think about taking it slower, but on Corruption Level 1, I think we'll be okay. However, something new has popped up. I guess I've progressed enough in the game that it's throwing more hazards at me. Now I have to deal, finally, with oxygen. So it looks like there's a leak here. So in the bottom right hand, you see it says O2 Unlimited. So your suit automatically will give you uh, oxygen when you need it. However, the tricky thing, according to the tutorial, is that if your suit is damaged, you'll slowly, or fastly, depending on how damaged your suit is, lose oxygen over time. So you might have to have a suit repair uh, patch kit so that you don't just bleed out oxygen. And to refill your oxygen, you have to use those oxygen tanks that we've seen all around the base. I thought they would never come in handy, and I thought they were always just there for an improvised explosive if you wanted them. But no, they're actually useful now. Wow, this whole place looks even more dramatic with a leaking oxygen or whatever's going on. It's like there's a dust storm here. It's really cool. Went over to the Pisces Labs, and of course, it doesn't have any power. Uh, I guess I'll take the Moonworks offline. Alright, I made it here. Not doing too bad. Oh, I'm, I have burn trauma. There we go. Okay, now I just need to escape as fast as possible. We're at the beginning of Corruption Level 2. Well, I know what you are. Maybe not. Why did this move? What? Where is it? Is it you? You! Okay, this is not great. So, I was about... Ooh. Shocky. I was about to head up there to the shuttle, but guess what? This has changed too. This is now completely broken. <laughs> so, um, hmm. Yeah, I need to find another way up. Although, I just realized the shuttle is not actually up there. It's in the crew annex. So we've got a thermal mimic over here, and I actually have a Cosmo bounty to glue it. There we go. Nice. Let's get the heck out of here. Here we go, as Claire Witten. Alright, we've made it here as Claire Witten. Wait. That's not it. Oh, I love that high jump. This is it. I would like to not only unlock the story objective for Andreas, but I also want to complete another Cosmo order, which is to escape with everybody in a single run. Because by the time I escape with Andreas, I will have already accomplished three in one run. So I might as well try for the other two, right? So, um, I'm looking for an escape pod. There's an escape pod in Moonworks. I just re-enabled the power there, and now I'm heading into Moonworks. I'm just sprinting as Attention, fast as possible. Everyone. We have an extra special message today from our CEO. Escape pod! This is Alex Yu, CEO of Transcar, and co-director no! aboard Talos One. As I see you, comfortably aboard the greatest technological marvel humanity has I... ever achieved. Shit! I recognize that this station... Um... Is there another way in there? I don't believe so. I think what that means... Uh, there's another door over there. Okay, let's try the other door. Maybe I can hack it. Of our sibling facility on the surface of the moon. Is that a f what the fuck? There's a moon shark in here? Three oh god. Is the light what of this company. Not to mention the exciting R&D taking place down there. 
So I want to offer my thanks and support to all employees hard at work at the Pythias moon base. When you look up, okay. take pride and remember. What Warning. One is safe. It's gonna need a navigation chip, isn't it? Uh. Would EMP work? Yes, got to turn back time. That is a very valuable for this run. In fact, I'm probably going to have to buy some of those. How are we looking? Need it? The navigation yes. Is damaged. Please contact engineering for Fuck. Um, I probably can make it. I felt that deep. Um, <laughs> if I can find a, uh, a crafty thingy, I can probably make it. Question is, where is a crafty thingy? I don't know for Moonworks. Here we go, now I can make one. I recycled literally all of my weapons to be able to do this. I, I guess I have one Typhon Spore left and that's about it. Okay. Get me out of here. All right, we are playing as the volunteer Andreas once again, since the very beginning of the game. And I bought 20 neuro mods to spend. So let me take you through what I've gotten. Within just the normal volunteer line of abilities, I got Psionic Aptitude 1. I might have already had this. I'm not sure. Um, increase your side pool by 50. I got Psionic Aptitude 2. Increase it by another 50. I got Neurostimulant 1. Increase the effectiveness of Psy Hypos by 50%. I got Piloting just to have it. It's cheap. And this character has an amazing array of Typhon abilities. So let's go through them. Um, we have... Oh, this one I definitely got before. Regenerate up to 10 health immediately after taking damage. So that's just like a passive thing. Um, I just got Super Thermal 1. Create one trap of superheated plasma that deals up to 75 fire damage within 3.5 meters when triggered. Backlash. Creates a shield for 20 seconds, which prevents the next enemy attack from damaging you. So basically, like, uh, I'm thinking of that, like, Quen from The Witcher. Kinetic Blast 1, and I got Kinetic Blast 2. Uh, physical Blast deals up to 75 damage, pushes away anything within 6 meters of the target. And Lift Field 1. I manipulate gravity to create a column of upward force up to 7 meters tall that lasts 15 seconds and can trap enemies. So it sounds like it could both be used to just mess up enemies and kind of preoccupy them so they can't get to you, but also maybe could be used as basically like a super jump for you. That's my guess get up to really high places. So, as far as things I can actively use, we can burn for about the same damage. We can do a kinetic blast. Um, the burn, it's a trap. So this you can put down and have triggered. This is just used directly when you use it. This is a shield. And this can mess up enemies. So I've got a lot to choose from. I also made sure that I spent a lot more on extra things that this character will definitely make it, hopefully. Got a couple EMP charges so I can get through any uh, Typhon gates, because it's definitely going to detect me as a Typhon at this point. Got a couple delay loot times, some med kits, uh, got an elite shotgun and some ammo for it. Let's test out Kinetic Blast. 
<laughs> my god, that's satisfying. Oh boy. It doesn't hurt to use that a bunch, by the way, just because... Well, I mean, I might run out of Psy, so that could hurt, but uh, it's good to get some extra points. Okay, running for it. Okay, shark's right behind me. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, I'm thinking Backlash might be a good idea here. That'll protect me from one hit. Wow, I made it here actually really quickly. Ow. Yep, computer is still un unhooked and everything. Alright, so as soon as I go through there, I believe I will have escaped. So for the next character, let's leave... Well, I guess everything. Um, Actually, before I do that though, I should turn back time. Should I do it again or just leave this? I'll do it again. Capsule door controls, open it, and stabilize gate. Okay, playing as Rally U now, trying to get to my workstation so I can upload my consciousness and all that. Question is, how do I get up here? I don't have a glue gun, I don't have a glue charge or anything like that. Uh, maybe I can get onto the speaker over here. Ah, no, there's no room. There's no lip. What about... What about this? Hmm. Ooh, ooh, yes! Didn't mean to do that. Nice. You just jet up and it just directs you upwards. Sweet. Thankfully, it looks like you don't have to rescan the subject down in the Typhon containment area before you can upload your consciousness and all that, so... Yeah, we can just go. Alright, playing as the last character, VJ Bhatia. And for them, the only way left to escape is via the Mass Driver in the Moonworks. Unfortunately, we have a Moon Shark in the Moonworks. I'm gonna try to kill it with a shotgun. I don't know if that's a good idea, but it's like super in the way. I'm gonna combat focus and just go for it. Oh, that's terrible. That's terrible. That does nothing. No. It resists that. I think I just gotta run for it. Yeah, okay. That worked alright. It was not moving. From within this room, I managed to see... From down there... There's some windows up here that I could get into. And lo and behold, this is... Is it Brian Chung? Yeah. Brian Chung's office. The place that I believe I've never been inside of. So, let's... Let's carry this up. And go... <laughs> and now let's read the emails. 911, New Typhon. From Brian Chung to Kenneth McAllister. Kenneth, Moonworks has been experiencing minor quakes, so I sent one of my miners to investigate. We were discussing the findings over Transcribe when he shouted that the rocks came alive under his feet. That's when the transmission went dead. Evidence points to Typhon activity, but I have no idea where the Typhon is now, so I'm, I'm quarantining the area. Stop what you're doing immediately. We will send a team to investigate. Helium-3. Helium-3, not meeting quota. Mr. Chung, we need a solution to the H-3 shipments to Talos. Forget everything else. This is your only job. If you can't make it happen, I'll have to make changes. From Brian Chung. Uh, Claire, there's been some concern about you being distracted and unavailable. Can you swing by so we can discuss? I'd love to help. Error. Transtar automatic reply, the mailbox for Claire Whitten is full. Fire again. Brian, someone left a chemical spill on the floor in the refinery. I don't know what's preventing Claire from taking care of these kinds of things. She's not going to be available. Can we at least get someone else access to the maintenance closet? Okay, I've gotten everything to put in here. Already got the food and the anti-rads, and I just got all the drinks. So 
So we still have to go launch the thing, right? And then run back. Here we go, we're doing the mass driver thing again. I remember last time I was here, there were some bad enemies in here. But it's only corruption level 3, so it'd be not too bad this time. Got some mimics. Oh, fuck. Ah. Is there a neuro mod up here, by the way? I'm still waiting for one extra neuro mod to get combat focus to. No, it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Okay, well, I might as well spend it right now, then. Let's get Combat Medic 2. Increase the effectiveness of medkits to 300%. Here we go. Hello. Should I change position? Clear the area. Nice crew escapes in a single run bonus for getting everybody is 10,000 plus 10,000 just for doing the Cosmo order. New incoming message from Basilisk. This is Basilisk to module 13. I'm just checking in. You have only one order remaining. What you've accomplished? It's incredible. This last one is going to be tough. But once it's done, your contract is fulfilled. You'll have no further obligation to Kazma, nor will Kazma have any to you. You understand? Just be sure... Uh, just make sure you're ready. For your last order, I mean. That's all I wanted to say. Basilisk out. Ominous. Alright, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to try to do the last remaining Cosmo Order, which is to solve the story objective for Andreas. <laughs>